Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an action, which is probably the coolest magic trick I could show you as far as Photoshop goes. Um, so in Photo 3, really trying to design it to where the programs do the majority of the work for you, rather than you trying to have to remember each step or anything like that. So what an action is, is a series of uh, pre-recorded steps um, that one that produce a filtered effect. So it's like a homemade filtered effect that you do not have to remember your numbers and all that stuff for. Um, so what we are going to do is, uh, now the best thing to do is have your image already open for this. You can use any photograph that you'd want, um, uh, for this, for this assignment. Um, So what the first step is going to be going to window and then actions right here. So we should see a little play button right here. What I would do, this will automatically open up your default actions. Click on the arrow if you can see where my cursor is at right there. And then just to close it, just makes it easier. You can even drag this down more if you want it to be a little bit longer to where you can see. A little bit more of the information that's coming up. Um, so your first step is going to be to click on the folder. So we're going to create a new set. Um, and we can call this comic. Uh, or pop art. Or something along those lines. We're going to create somewhat of like a Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol type uh, old comic book print. Um, so turning a photograph into that. Uh, so now we see that we have our set or a folder. We need to click on the one right to the right of that. looks like a new layer icon. So we're going to click on that. And we can also call that uh, comic or pop art. Uh, we want to make sure that it is in the set of comic. <clears throat> uh, and then we want to hit record. So once you hit record, it is very important when you're making an action that you already know each step that you're going to take because uh, the program will just record everything that you do. So if you do a bunch of things and hit control Alt Z to uh, undo it, it's going to record all of that um, and it can mess things up. So the other thing too is do not, when you open up your your image do not double click on this and unlock it leave it locked um so we're going to hit record and then we see right here that the little uh red circle is on it is now recording so it is just going to record your steps so your first step is going to be to hit Control j because we want to make a copy of that background and we see that it popped up right there layer via copy so and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter other and then high pass um now depending on the image this number may change uh based off the size and everything but the trick is you want it to be to still have some details but try not to have that much color of the photograph so if you it's not an exact science but we can see right here that the color of the photograph is starting to creep in. Um, so that's too much uh, on the high pass. So I had it at 1.5. Uh, it seems to work okay. Um, <clears throat> and then now we see the high pass is now on there. Now <clears throat> we want to go to filter and then filter gallery dot dot dot. The one right here. Um, and we want to go to sketch. And we want to go to note paper. And we want to go to 25, 0, and 0. And once you have that, go ahead and hit OK. Uh, if it's not like gray and white or black and white looking, um, if it's like colors on there, uh, you can hit cancel and then hit D. So your swatch is right over here. Go back to black and white and then just redo it. You want it to be 25, 0, and 0. Um, and then from here, what you're going to do is you are going to go 
uh, here, I'll, let me reopen that one up just so you can see. So just so you know, 25, zero and zero. Um, and then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to image adjustments and you are going to go to threshold and then you can try 180, but also depending on the size of your photograph, um, you may need a little bit more. Uh, but once you have to where it looks like a kind of a lined drawing, um, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the top layer. So now we see the one underneath, highlight the bottom layer, and then we're going to go back to filter and then filter gallery. Make sure you click on the one that's dot, 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 where my cursor's at. Do not click on this top one because that'll screw everything up for you. So you want to click on filter gallery and then we're going to go to artistic and we're going to go to cutout and we are going to, you can adjust these numbers to get a, a cutout look that you would like. Um, the simpler the colored shapes are, uh, the more it may have more of a comic book feel to it, but uh, that is up to you. Um, and then once you have those numbers for me, I went five, four, two, you could even try that even if you're not using the same image. See if you like it. Um, but once you have that, go ahead and hit OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this layer. So we're going to hit Control J. <clears throat> now we have three layers total. And we're highlighted on the middle layer. So from here, we're going to go to Filter. And then we're going to go to Pixelate. And then Color Halftone. Again, depending on the size of your photograph, I really wish this gave you a preview, but the only number you're going to change is this max radius. I'm going to leave it at eight. Um, if it's a big image, you could try 10. Uh, it's, it's up to you. So once you hit okay, that's what it's going to create. So um, if your number's too large, then um, you, you'll, these dots will be uh, pretty big. Um, but so after that, after you have your, your dots on there, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your blending mode. So from normal, we're going to change that to screen. Again, that can, that can vary based off, uh, what you want. Just remember that when you're recording the action, you want to be very precise. So you'd, want, you'd already want to know that beforehand. Um, and then you're going to turn on the top layer, highlight that top layer, and then you're going to change that blending mode down uh, with darken. And then now we can see, um, so from here, that's your last step. So after that, you're going to go ahead and hit stop and your action is finished. Um, we can see right here that the, the line drawing kind of helps bring in those details. Um, so uh, now what you would do is you would go file, open. Doesn't seem like much of a magic trick until, until you see the fruits of your labor. So now we have a, our open photograph, and then we're going to highlight pop art, and that's the <clears throat> that's the title of the action that we gave, and then we're going to hit play, and then you can see that it automatically does all these layers for you, or and um, all these steps for you. Uh, and then it creates that edited image. So all you have to do after that is open up your images um, and hit play for all of your for all of your photographs. And you would then go to file, save as. Um, you can save it as uh, action one. Um, make sure you save it as a JPEG. Uh, this one right here, not the JPEG 2000. Uh, you want this JPEG right up here, so not stereo or 2000. Um, and then I would save it in a folder, uh, make a new folder, and call this like action, just so it's 
easier to um, find and better organized. Uh, and then hit save. Once you have that, make sure it's all the way over to the right. So quality all the way over to the right for maximum baseline standard, and then you're good to go. So hit OK. And so you, that's basically what you would do. You would save all those images, and then after that, you would uh, turn them in.